Kona. Harry and Meghan Yawn uh, made their first joint appearance of 2024 last night, appearing in Kingston, Jamaica, for the premiere of the upcoming Bob Marley bio... bio what's that word? Biopic. What's it called, the Bob Marley biopic? Bi what's One it? Love. It's called One, Fantastic. One Love. Fantastic. Um, and in Hollywood last night, <sighs> Ryan Gosling released a statement after his Barbie co-star Margot Robbie and director Greta Gerwig were snubbed by the Oscars despite receiving a nod himself. Yeah, bet he was told to. Well, joining us this morning live from L.A., the host of the Die For Daily podcast, we love her, Kinsey Schofield. Let's start with Harry and Meghan. Mm, major news, they I, went I mean, to Jamaica to see Bob Marley's biopic. It was great, yeah? Just two of your favourite topics. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad to be with you here today. That's right, Harry and Meghan celebrated Bob Marley, One Love, and the Marley family at the premiere in Kingston, Jamaica on Tuesday night. Now, we believe that the connection here was that Harry met with Bob Marley's widow, Rita Marley, in 2012 during his Royal Diamond Jubilee tour of the, uh, the Caribbean. Um, the, the pair posed on the red carpet with the CEO of Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon. Paramount produced the film. So I have two thoughts here, guys. Stay with me. They could either be trying to show Netflix that they have co contacts elsewhere as their contract with Netflix expires in 2025, or perhaps Megan is pitching her Netflix canceled animated series Pearl to Nickelodeon. Because I, I just thought, what, why pose with the CEO of Paramount unless you're trying to trying to make a statement? Um, but either way, a rare night out for the former royals doing God's work on the red carpet. You know, I think this is what a life of service this looks like. I got you are so brilliant. That's very clever, isn't it? You'd have to believe that everything they do is a reason behind it. Well, I mean, it, or it's sensible business sense to say, look, I'm going to just show other people that I've got options. Yep. Maybe she's being quite savvy. Yeah. Well, I did notice when they poked fun of them at, I believe it was the Golden Globes. Was it the Golden Globes where they made the joke about Harry and Meghan Maybe not doing Emmys. anything? Maybe the Emmys. Oh, the it? Emmys. Well, they cut to the um, CEO of Netflix who threw his head back and laughed. So yeah. I highly yeah. doubt that Harry and Meghan appreciated that. We've never seen Harry and Meghan on a Netflix premiere red carpet, which would greatly be beneficial towards that brand. That's been, you know, a, a great, Contra uh, contract lucrative lucratively for them um so i i thought that that was an interesting strategy last night interesting but not as interesting not as interesting as the oscars all yours you two she's just shot rebecca by saying she felt barbie should have apologized to ken at the end of the show of the film look i loved i did love the film i loved the fashion the music that dance scene when barbie's in the Lee kind of um silver about. incredibly sparkly jumpsuit was all amazing but I think for lots of people looking at the Oscar nominations, they feel this is a bit ironic, isn't it? A film that was all about female empowerment, taking on the patriarchy, then Margot Robbie, Greta Gerwig, don't get a look in. So, Kinsey, tell us what happened and why people are upset. Well, and, and what I will tell you is that uh, th there are so many, so many different conspiracies around how, you know, the, the Academy is punishing comedy. But at the same time, it's, it's like you were saying in your previous segment, Ryan Gosling, American Ferreira, they both received nominations for supporting roles. So how can you leave out Margot Robbie, who not only became Barbie, but was an incredible producer uh, uh, on the movie and shows us how much range she has, not only as an actor, but as an entertainment professional. The good news is that Barbie did earn eight nominations um, and her co-stars are coming out greatly to defend her American Ferreira who, um, who won or who was nominated for Best Supporting Actress responded to the snub by telling Variety I was incredibly disappointed that they weren't nominated Greta has done just about everything that a director can do to deserve it and talks about how Margot has achieved so much and she just was so effortlessly Barbie that perhaps you forget that it's work to, to be, become one of these characters. And then Ryan Gosling all, splashed all over Variety everywhere today, um, saying that he was incredibly honoured to be nominated, but there is no Ken without Barbie, and there is no Barbie without Greta he's or thinking, Margot. He's, he's thinking of the, the sequel, isn't he? Come on, let's but, be I mean, it, it probably is a bit awkward for Ryan Gosling. I think this is men fighting back. Have been tranched in the film? I think it's them fighting back. Is it down to, and I'm being completely serious, haven't seen it, don't want to see it, 
Um, sorry, can't be bothered. The group appears. Can you? Is this? Is this sort of about? Should it not just be about acting ability? Is it all? Does it have to be a huge debate about? Oh, it was about women, and they haven't won. Maybe they just don't think she was very good in it. No, the thing is, Margot Robbie was excellent as Your Bobby. opinion, maybe theirs is but different. That's true, but you do kind of, while you're watching it, you think, just the way she's moving, you think, oh, it's Barbie. I mean, she was yeah. excellent. Did you like I mean, the you film, to... Kimsey? I mean, it was a little it was a little too um, messagey for me, but... Th like Rosie two said, women in my life, really two women in my life, really one heading to hospital with twinges, you two have both said the same thing. Haven't you? But let's be honest. Let's have the debate. I, I did enjoy. I did enjoy the film, but I'm not responsible for any Oscar nominations. De Kinsey, right. too messagey. But what we mustn't assume is that the Academy are sending a message going. This was too messagey. People loved the film. It took a billion dollars. That's fantastic. But over here, and I'm sure the case there, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon saying women should have been. Not I don't know. I don't know. I don't no, even know what no. Margot Robbie and Greta should have been nominated for talent, sheer okay. talent, and for a beautiful product that they they single-handedly saved the movie industry this summer. No one was going to sit in yeah. movie theaters anymore. We were enjoying it from the comforts of our couches. Well, and Oppenheimer as well. I mean, it was a, a really a boom for cinema, wasn't it? I, but I would, I would def, you know, it was. I, I, I think that. There was a, a magic around Barbie that Oppenheimer didn't have. I, I, that combined, cr clearly they created magic, but Oppenheimer didn't have twenty girls all dressed in pink with you know their with their Stanley see our Cups green room. lining up. Kins, we love you so much. <laughs> we really appreciate you coming on. You'll always be my Barbie. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank I don't you. Know what that means, oh. Kinsey? Thank you. Uh, lots more to come here on Talk Today.